Hello everyone and welcome to my Aussie kitchen. Today I'm going to show you my version of a beef stroganoff. What you're going to need is about a kilo of beef. Now I've chosen rump steak but a good fillet steak is fine as well. Two cups of sliced mushrooms, two cups of sliced onions and as you can see I've used a combination of a white or a brown onion as well as a red onion just for a little bit of variation in texture and flavour. You're going to need two tablespoons of tomato paste, some salt and pepper, some butter for frying, and about 150 ml of sour cream, or about half of this tub. Now in a separate bag, what I've done is I've put about three tablespoons of plain flour. And what I'm going to do to that is add the salt and pepper and the meat just to coat it thoroughly with the flour and the seasoning. Melt about two tablespoons of butter and then add your sliced onions. There's about two cups of onions here and it's a combination of a brown onion and a red onion just to add a little bit of variation to the flavour and the texture. So just fry these off until they're translucent and beginning to caramelise just a little bit. Now once the onion has gotten to the stage where it's translucent and just beginning to brown a little bit, that's when you add two cups of sliced mushrooms. and just cook that gently for about three minutes. Now as you can see the onions and the mushrooms have been caramelizing wonderfully and they smell absolutely beautiful. So now's the time to take the mushrooms and the onions and remove them from the pan because we're going to need the pan to fry the meat separately. So to fry the meat we're going to put another couple of tablespoons of butter into the pan. And once that's melted, we'll add our meat. And once the butter's melted, just add that meat. As you can see, I've already floured the meat and seasoned it by putting it in a bag and tossing it around until everything is coated properly. So then just add that meat to the butter and fry it off gently. So once you've fried the meat off, Add the onions and mushrooms back into the fry pan. And just stir it through so that they're combined throughout. The next thing we're going to add is two large tablespoons of tomato paste. And just stir that through the mixture. Then when that's stirred through the meat, take your sour cream and about half a tub of sour cream goes into this, so about 150 mils. And just stir that through the whole recipe as well. Now that's your basic beef stroganoff completed. And just serve it with mashed potato and green vegetables or even rice if you prefer. Now I like to add a little bit of white wine to mine to make it into a bit of an adult version. So probably only about two tablespoons. But this is completely optional, you can leave that out completely. 